we are going to discuss the simple ways on how to find the derivatives of certain functions using the differentiation rules. For this part one of our discussion, we'll start with the constant rule, power rule, and constant multiple rule of differentiation. For the constant rule of differentiation, it says here that if c is constant and if f of x is equal to c for all x, then f prime of x or its derivative is equal to 0. Say if f of x is equal to 5, then f prime of x or its derivative is equal to 0. If h of x is equal to the square root of 2, then h prime of x or its derivative is equal to 0. And if g of x is equal to 3 pi, then g prime of x or its derivative is equal to 0. With the power rule of differentiation, if f of x is equal to x raised to n, where x is our base and n is our exponent, then f prime of x or its derivative is equal to n times x raised to n minus 1, where the exponent is multiplied by the base raised to the given exponent minus 1, and minus 1 or negative 1 is constant. Let's say if we have f of x is equal to x cubed, then f prime of x or its derivative is equal to 3 times x raised to 3 minus 1. Simplifying this further, we have 3x squared. If f of x is equal to 1 over x squared, this function must be written first in the form x raised to n. And so we have f of x is equal to x raised to negative 2. So here, the law of exponent is applied. That if the exponent is moved from numerator to denominator or from denominator to numerator, the sign of the exponent is changed. We can now apply the power rule to get its derivative. And so, f prime of x or the derivative of x is equal to negative 2 times x raised to negative 2 minus 1, which is equal to negative 2 x raised to negative 3. And to change the negative exponent to positive exponent, we can move x raised to negative 3 to the denominator. And so we have negative 2 divided by x cubed, which is equal to negative 2 over x cubed. If f of x is equal to 1 over x, so again, this function must be written first in the form x raised to n. And so we have f of x is equal to x raised to negative 1. So we can now apply the power rule of differentiation. We have the derivative of x or f prime of x is equal to negative 1 times x raised to negative 1 minus 1, which is equal to negative x raised to negative 2. And to change the negative exponent to positive exponent, we can move x raised to negative 2 to the denominator. And so we have negative 1 divided by x squared, which is equal to negative 1 over x squared. If we have f of x is equal to the square root of x, again, this must be written first in the form x raised to n. And to do that, we can convert this given radical form to exponential form. And so we have f of x is equal to x raised to 1 half, where the numerator in our exponent comes from the exponent of our radicand x. And the denominator in our exponent, which is 2, comes from the index of our radical. And so we can now 
apply the power rule of differentiation to get the derivative. So the derivative of x is equal to 1 half times x raised to 1 half minus 1, which is equal to 1 half x raised to negative 1 half. And to change the negative exponent to positive exponent, move x raised to negative 1 half to the denominator. And so we have 1 divided by 2 x raised to 1 half. And for our final answer, we can now change the exponential form, which is x raised to 1 half, to radical form. And so we have 1 over 2 times the square root of x. If we have f of x is equal to the cube root of x, again, we can change this form into exponential form. We can have f of x is equal to x raised to one third. Now we can apply the power rule of differentiation. We have f prime of x or the derivative of x is equal to one third times x raised to one third minus one, which is equal to one third x raised to negative two thirds. And to change the negative exponent to positive exponent, we can move x raised to negative two thirds to the denominator. And so we have 1 divided by 3 times x raised to 2 thirds. And for our final answer, we have 1 over 3 times the cube root of x squared. With the constant multiple rule of differentiation, if f is a function, c is a constant, and g is the function defined by g of x is equal to c times f of x, then g prime of x or its derivative is equal to c times f prime of x. If f of x is equal to 3x squared, then f prime of x is equal to 3 times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x raised to 2 minus 1, which is equal to 6x raised to 1, or simply 6x. If we have f of x is equal to 4x raised to 2 thirds, then its derivative is equal to 4 times 2 thirds x raised to 2 thirds minus 1, which is equal to 8 thirds x raised to negative 1 third. And moving x raised to negative one third to the denominator, we have 8 over 3 times x raised to one third. And for our final answer, we can convert the rational exponent, which is x raised to one third, to radical form. And so our final answer is 8 over 3 times the cube root of x. If we have f of x is equal to 1 half x raised to 3 fourths, then its derivative is equal to 1 half times 3 fourths x raised to 3 fourths minus 1, which is equal to 3 eighths x raised to negative 1 fourth. And moving x raised to negative 1 fourth to the denominator, we have 3 over 8 x raised to 1 fourth. And for our final answer, we have 3 over 8 times the fourth root of x.